literally the palest person. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel where today um, I just wanted to get ready with you guys and talk to you because it's been so long. I just really missed being in front of the camera. I finally feel happy, confident, mentally, physically good enough to project something onto a camera that is worth um, editing and being watched. I'm going to start by drinking some water, which I should be... I like room temperature water because it's so much easier to drink. Start with my hair, just because... I've been wearing this ponytail extension in. So when I start doing my hair, I like to kind of bring out my bangs forward. And a lot of you, if you follow me, see that I was kind of doing like this bang thing. Um, so I have these pieces of hair that I leave out sometimes when I want bangs. And then I just basically curl them up to give myself the illusion of fake bangs. I'm just gonna take this back crown. I just separate this in the front this So then I'm gonna take the crown area and just put that into a ponytail and that kind of gives us like a bump to make it look a little bit more natural. So here is what I wear. Um, this is just a ponytail extension wig. Um, not really a wig, um, just a ponytail. He thinks it's really weird that I wear it. At first wearing it, I was like, can you tell? You can tell. And then I, I didn't like really love it um, in the beginning. I just had to get used to it and I ended up falling in love with it, so... Whatever. So I'm going to start by using my e.l.f. Hydrating Mist. It's a coconut hydrating mist with um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. And I hope, I hope I said that right. I'm going to use my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealing and foundation <laughs> um, so it's a foundation and concealer all in one um, this is the color breeze so it's CNO2 I already toned and washed my face and what I need to express to a lot of people is that in order to have good makeup you have to have a good skincare routine because you cannot put makeup on to some you like to stuff and not know how to color correct or take care of it or treat it or antibacterial it's all crazy to me. So I just go in and start by creating where I would want some coverage and basically that's that. I have some like dark spots here like shadowing here so I'm trying to get rid of that and then of course my under eye dark circles which why lord did you do that? Ah! I just like jabbed my eye. So that's kind of why I started my skincare routine as well because that allows me to wear less makeup and feel better at my skin because I've watched Snitchery and she definitely talks a lot about how our society and everything tells us that we have to wear so excess amount of makeup. Fucking Ricardo! wear like the baking powder the baking powder from Elizabeth Mott is a hundred percent better I would use that one um, anytime any day okay I just look so pale like this is the revolution pro it's very quick I hate these like metallic like gold colors but I definitely like love this color it's uh Johan 
let's take a look. Sponge. Has it been any more pale? This definitely is translucent. I had any colorage. I'll show you what. There is an owl. Crazy, you know? Too Faced Blush, I've been using this forever. Um, this one is in the color Perfect Flesh Blush, um, the Sweethearts edition. And you have to remember with makeup that if you do in a tapping motion, you're gonna deposit more of that product in that area. So if you're doing in a swiping motion, you're kind of just like rubbing that into your pore and skin and you just want it to sit on top instead of like be rubbed into your skin. You're not like applying that to your face like to live forever like you want a face product. Um, I mean like a face wash product. You want this to be like your like mask and it sit on top of your face. I bring it up and I just kind of pat that. I don't really bring it too much into that corner V right there but I kind of bring it like to my freckle which is good. This side so then you kind of got up all of this side. And then I'm just gonna, this actually is a really nice palette. Um, I usually take this just because it's like a muted brown. These are more like bright and opening. Sometimes I mix it with these two. This is just a little bit more brighter for my face. Makes me look a little bit more orange. I lift that up. You don't really want to drag it down. Just lift up. Like if you see, it's like more open and like smaller. This is like, Oh, more to find. Just do my forehead, but I just do these very small corners right here. Just because my head forehead is already. My eyes are really dry. I don't normally like bleed when I'm doing makeup. And then I forget the eyes. My contacts are ready, and then the powder gets everywhere, and my eyes just get like so dry. Oh, look at you! So I'm gonna color here, and then go to the right of that area. So I went in with highlight one and two to create this underneath. We took a break and we're back. And now that we have done the under eyes, I'm gonna go back in with that e.l.f. coconut hydrating mist and I'm just gonna spritz the face. Creations Angel Glow. Oh, I got this is where I got my wig at a long time ago. On babies. Um, it's like a billion dollar, whatever the fuck. Um, so, and I just start by doing a line at the bottom that blended. Thingy thing, I have this like flat top brush, concealer foundation, and then I take this brush. And this one would be definitely too harsh. I had a heavy hand with that, so you kind of want to try to more so have a lighter hand. <clears throat> a bitch needs water. So I just do my best to like blend that out. Ack. Um, NYX mix. Um, Epic. You can just brush that through a little bit better with this one. And if you have this fully with the gel on it, it's not like so easy to control. Lashes. Did I brush through this one? Yes. Did I brush through this one? That lifted and I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. This is in black. Just a nice gold body. And then it has this nice wand.
I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Paris in a failable six hour never fail lip liner. This is in the color Rose. It's like a nice like darker pink. And I just go ahead and line my lips. A line that I just kind of filled up. Um, can't really see it, but I have like a lower, lower lip. So it gives me the option to do bigger lips if I want to and make it look natural. But I try to do little baby doll lips lately. And then sometimes if I want it to be sharper there, I'll do it, but I just kind of like fill that like line up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Intense Butter Gloss from NYX. This is an awesome gloss. I love it so freaking much. Um, and it's really like just a true like nude. It would be so like me to fix something last minute when it doesn't even matter anymore. Chirp <laughs> sauce. I love it. This shit is so high though. Guys are instantly red. Okay, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more. And if you want to see anything specific, let me know. Um, I definitely have videos planned. I have the inspiration book, and he's about me, and he's telling me to make videos for you guys and for me when I'm old too, because I don't know. Okay, anyways. Have a wonderful rest of your day, week, weekend, whatever the fuck. Uh, galaxy. Some people are in a different universe than us. I don't even know. Bye!